So this is uh, the title poem from a book uh, by a young Palestinian poet, Najwan Darwish, who's not related to Mahmoud Darwish, who's probably the most famous um, Palestinian poet. Uh, and it's called Nothing More to Lose. It was published about two years ago from uh, New York Review Books. Nothing More to Lose. Lay your head on my chest and listen to the layers of ruins behind the madrasa of Saladin. Hear the houses sliced open in the village of Lifta. Hear the wrecked mill, the lessons and reading on the mosque's ground floor. Hear the balcony lights go out for the very last time on the heights of Wadi Salib. Hear the crowds drag their feet and hear them returning. Hear the bodies as they're thrown. Listen to their breathing on the bed of the Sea of Galilee. Listen like a fish in a lake guarded by an angel. Hear the tales of the, voy of the villagers embroidered like kafias in the poems. Hear the singers growing old. Hear their ageless voices. Hear the women of Nazareth as they cross the meadow. Hear the camel driver who never stops tormenting me. Hear it and let us together remember then let us together forget all that we have heard. Lay your head on my chest. I'm listening to the dirt. I'm listening to the grass as it splits through my skin. We lost our heads in love and have nothing more to lose. Interestingly, he wrote it as we were finishing up the book uh, and we were originally just going to call it something, you know, Najwan Darwish selected poems because this series, this series by New York Review Books always has the poet's name and then sometimes there's not even a title. Uh, but yeah, he wrote it as we were finishing it up and we were just like, that's it, that's our, we've got our title. You, know, you have a book of Palestinian poetry, you think nothing more to lose, okay, it's all going to be about loss. And the poem is about that, but then I love the end where he says, you know, we lost our heads in love and have nothing more to lose, which is really changes kind of some of the nuances of the title. Um, and yeah, as, as you heard, there were there's actually several place names that were mentioned. Uh, for example, the village of Lifta, there are some, so this was one where, uh, so one of the challenges is, you know, uh, I don't even know in the Arabic if the word village is in there. I think I might have added that sometimes. And then Wadi Salib, I might have added heights of Wadi Salib to kind of just give the reader a little bit of a hint of, okay, what's, what is, you know, if you just write Lifta, it means nothing to a, to an English reader. If you say the village of Lifta, they know it's a book of Palestinian poetry and you have, uh, here the houses, the houses sliced open in the village of Lifta. Okay. So you all right, you've got at least a bit of an image there. Okay. There was presumably there was some, this was a village that was raised or something like that. And uh, so that's one of the things that sometimes I'll do as a translator. And I'm working, uh, I'm possibly starting a large pre-Islamic poetry project where that comes up quite a lot. Um, there's place names that were familiar back then. And sometimes we don't know what they are in English. So the words just have, kind of have to stand there. But when it is, when we do know what the place was, for example, a mountain or something, I'll tend to try to add a specifier like, you know, Mount Yathbul, or in this case, the village of Lifta. All the same, this book has notes at the end. And for example, for that reference, we put a note at the back because Lifta was actually a pretty peculiar village in that the Israelis boarded it up and cemented it, but they didn't destroy it, which the vast majority, like the vast majority of Palestinian villages that were uh, abandoned by the Palestinians after 1948 were destroyed by the uh, Israeli authorities or just gotten rid of. And strangely, this is one that you can still kind of see. Um, I haven't been there, but the poet Najwan was telling me about it. He says it's very strange. Uh, it's just a bunch of empty, empty huts and houses, and many of which were kind of the doors were cemented shut.